I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible because I'm working on a longer version. But uh, I want to get this out today for reasons i uh, get into later. On Tuesday, I had a big confrontation with uh, Mark Nemchik on the Las Vegas Strip. Those videos are posted. Uh, and probably if you watch them, or if you do watch them after watching this, you'll be uh, pretty... You'll notice or be really disturbed by a couple of things, but especially an accusation that uh, Mike and Mark Nemchik and their goon, Brandon Acosta, yell out again and again and again, which is that I'm a pedophile, which is not true. As I've said many times, everything Mark Nemchik says is not true, because he's a uh, complete, utter fraud, a con man with uh, no decency whatsoever, and uh, also brought up... Uh, a lot lately that uh, he's using now, as I'm closing in on him, more and more of these um, uh, turning the tables tactics where scammers start to tell lies about the person who's exposing them in order to discredit them to the public or intimidate them, make them stop. And one of the most effective ways to do that is with these, you know, so-called big lies that are so shocking that uh, you have to question the person who is exposing them. And uh, nothing, of, of course, could be more uh, disgusting or, or, or discrediting to somebody than uh, calling them a pedophile. I obviously can disprove that accusation easily. Uh, anybody who wants can uh, see my police record and everything. My name is out there in the course of these videos. Um, but the real reason that I can uh, prove it is even better. And it's that I can not only prove that I didn't, that I'm not uh, guilty of that uh, disgusting, uh, heinous uh, type of crime. But I can prove that Mark Nimchik made up that lie specifically to turn the tables on me. And even more specifically, to get me fired from Walgreens, which is the place where all this started, where I confronted him on my day off back on uh, April 28th. Excuse me. Your name is Mark Nimchik, right? Huh? Name is Mark Nimchik. Me. What? And you might be asking, how can you possibly do that? It's your word against his. Well, that's what this is about. Let me introduce you to Kendra Justice. We have seen her before in one video, actually two, because there's this one, and there's also a much more recent one that I've posted which is uh, the Mark Nimchik Can Walk video. She's seen there standing on the street corner with Mark Nimchik. Uh, so here's the backstory. On November, tw uh, November 2nd of this year, I was able to have an interview with her. Again, trying to keep it simple, leaving details out. Uh, the point of this was that um, Kendra is the longtime girlfriend on again, off again, sometime fiance of Mike Nemchik. Always again the son of Mark Nemchik, obviously. And uh, she said she was turning over a new leaf, which is confirmed by uh, other people around her. And she wanted to get the truth out about Mike's uh, pretty dark and disturbing uh, life with her. She also wanted, in exchange for information in that interview, she wanted me to take down this video, which is one that I ripped from her own TikTok and then posted on mine with these captions um, saying what the evidence suggested, essentially. But here's the point. Um, in the course of this interview, I asked her about 
many things, but one of the things I asked her about was to confirm uh, information that I'd been getting, which is that uh, the Nimchicks had been spreading lies about me all over Fremont Street. Um, basically, uh, um, that I'm homeless, that I'm uh, crazy, that I'm a fugitive. And the kicker, the big lie, that I'm a pedophile, which obviously is not true. Because if you know anything about Mark Nemchik, you know that everything he says is lie. And this interview confirms not only that he uh, invented it, that he did it for the purpose of getting fired at Walgreens. And it's coming back out now because you saw it on November 21st, three days ago, during the confrontation I had with them on the strip. And first, let's play those um, accusations that they were throwing at me about uh, pedophile this, pedophile that. And then I'm going to pay, play you the clip of the actual interview. What's the matter? What's the matter, Jonathan Tate? A pedophile. Get out of here, pedophile. That's why you grabbed the girl's ass. Call the police, Come on, girl. I just feel grabbing the little nine-year-old girl. Come on, huh? Pedophile. You're a pedophile. You like grabbing nine-year-old girls' ass, right? You fucking pedophile. He's a pedophile. A fucking pedophile grabbing a nine-year-old girl. They're liars. They're scammers. Get out of here. Don't listen Get to them. Get out of here. I'm a pedophile. Get the fuck out of here. Grabbing a fucking little girl's ass. Get out of here. Fucking pedophile. Nine-year-old girl's ass. How the fuck you feel about that, huh? I'm a guy, nobody fucks with a real Back into the corner, motherfucker. Don't listen to him, he's Jonathan lying about Kate. everything. So I'm actually gonna go outside and smoke a cigarette, so. Did you ever talk about trying to get me fired at Walgreens? Do what? Trust is not me. Okay. I know Mark had brought that up a few times. Okay. Um, Did you show them a fake restraining order? Showed a fake restraining order, said that you touched a nine year old girl's butt. And that's what got you fired. Do you tell that too? Uh, CJ, security guard over there. Details. I don't know. He he only was very vague. He told CJ that I touched a nine-year-old girl's butt. Mm hmm Mark said that, or Mike? Mark said that, not Michael. Because the night that that happened, Michael wasn't on Fremont, and she could vouch for that. Because I was in the hospital that night. Michael was with me. He was at Dallas. Michael was with me that night when Pop pulled that shit. At CJ, same thing. I don't know. I haven't really talked to him about it because I, I don't go down to Fremont. Because his entire demeanor toward me changed on a dime. Because of Mark. We were kind of good. And he was mad on myself. Oh, and yeah. suddenly he hit. Because he's, he, he's on Mark and Ma Mike and Mark's side. Yeah. And that goes back. Equals buddies with and and that goes back to the to the whole conspiracy theory side. Okay. I need to step outside for a cigarette. So if you want to continue this conversation outside with your computer, cool. But I need a cigarette, of course. That. Yeah, yeah. Then, two weeks later, on November seventeenth, Brandon Acosta writes two comments to a TikTok video saying that Merck Nemchik is a real vet, and then. He begins to send me private messages, one of which is this one. I posted a video about these messages at the time. I believe that the specific pedophile lie was thrown at me specifically because Thomas Scalgione is a convicted child sex offender, and that was Nimchek's partner in the 9-11 truck scam. Keep it coming. Who's Thomas Scalgione? Who's Thomas Scalgione? Who's Thomas Scalgione? He was your Come partner. On. He was your partner. And he went to prison for child molestation, didn't he? Come on, 